The art of barbecue really boils down to two things. It's seasoning the meat so that it's explosively flavorful and cooking it to the degree of doneness that you desire. It's really about you controlling the fire, not about the fire controlling you. Malaysia may be the best kept grilling secret in Asia. Case in point, this spatchcock chicken with fiery Kelantan spice paste. Spatchcock? Kelantan? Don't worry, all will be illuminated. What you need to know is that a small investment in time will give you a huge dividend in flavor. First, the chicken. Spatchcocking is the process of opening up a chicken like a book, so you can grill it directly on the small grills you find throughout Asia. The first step is to cut out the backbone. You can see I'm using poultry shears here. You cut on one side of the backbone, then the other side. Open up the chicken, and using a paring knife, make a cut along the breastbone. And break it down on one side, then the other side, to reveal the breastbone. And pull it out, as you see here. You can just take a little nick with the knife. Next step is to make a slit in the thin skin between the thigh and the breast. Then slip the end of the drumstick through the thigh and pull it forward. Now turn it around and do the other side the same way. Tuck the wing tips under the wings. And finally, any little pieces of bone sticking up, you can trim them off with poultry shears. So there's your spatchcock chicken. And the beauty is now you can cook a whole chicken using the direct method. Remember, in Asia, they don't have our big grills with our covers for indirect grilling. Okay, let me wash my hands. Always important to do when you're handling chicken. Now the Kelantan marinade. It starts with and fresh lemongrass. And this is what a fresh lemongrass stalk looks like. It's an herb used throughout Southeast Asia. Has a lemony flavor, kind of an herbal lemony flavor, no acidity. What you do to prepare lemongrass is cut the top half to third, and then the part you actually use is this fragrant core in the center. So next, add thinly sliced fresh ginger or galangale thinly sliced shallots, and jalapeno chilies. The spices are three, ground coriander, ground cumin, and ground turmeric. And finally, a coarse salt. Now, puree the ingredients to a coarse paste. Whenever you work in the food processor, you start with your solid ingredients, and once they're ground together, then add your liquid ingredients. Last of all, add vegetable oil and a little water. This marinade comes from the northeasternmost province of Malaysia, an area called Kelantan, which borders Thailand. So the use of coconut, lemongrass, and chilies, very Thai ingredients. Spoon about a third of the marinade on the bottom of your baking dish and place the spatchcock chicken on top. The reason Malaysian grilling is so flavorful is that it actually reflects four different ethnic influences. There are the Malays who love chilies and coconut milk. There are Indians who like spices like turmeric. There are Chinese who use soy sauce and oyster sauce. And then there's a style of cooking called nonya, or grandmother cooking, which actually combines all influences. Okay, we'll marinate the chicken in the refrigerator for at least four hours or as long as overnight. In Malaysia, they would use coconut charcoal. I'm using a natural briquette. It contains no coal dust or petroleum binders. And as always, we light the charcoal in a chimney starter, place either a crumpled newspaper or a paraffin fire starter in the bottom of the chimney, coals in the top. Beauty of the chimney starter, the upright vertical shape helps the coals light uniformly. And again, always light the chimney in the grill. Let me show you how to set up the fire. Here are some lit coals, dump them out, 
and rake out the coals over about two-thirds of the bottom grate. One-third is coal-free. This will be my safety zone. And then just put the grill grate on the grill, always with the bars running towards you. And what you want to do is start grilling it bone side down. That's how they do it in Malaysia. And you can spoon any excess marinade on top of the chicken. And this lemongrass chili smoke is absolutely unbelievable. So you want to grill the chicken over a moderate heat. And if it's too hot, just reach down and close that vent. That'll cut the airflow, bring the temperature down. Is rotate the grate around. Move your chicken over the safety zone. Let the flames die down. Then you can move it back. After 15 minutes, you want to turn the bird over. Grill it for another 15 minutes. Now, this side you really want to watch because it's skin side down. There will be some dripping fat. You can get some flare-ups. So, to check the chicken for doneness, just slide it over to your safety zone. And then you want to insert the instant read meat thermometer in the deepest part of the thigh. You're looking for 165 degrees. We've got it. I'll just transfer the spatchcock chicken to a platter. Sprinkle it with some toasted sesame seeds. and squeeze a little lime juice over it. And there it is, your Malaysian-style spatchcock chicken. Let's see how we did. Mm. This is great. You got the lemongrass, you got the coconut, it's a little sweet, it's a little tangy, and it's a little fiery. So there you go. From Malaysia to Primal Grill to you, it's Spatchcock Chicken on the Grill.